Shout out mga idol, uh, this is Wigration. So ngayon may bago naman po tayong pag-usapan. So regarding pa rin po sa barangay and SK election postponement. So ito ba ay matuloy o hindi? Ano ba yung mga rason? Pero bago dyan, tingnan muna natin itong uh, pinupush ni uh, Senator Francis uh, Tolentino kay Comelec Chairman George Garcia na idagdag or ilagay doon sa pipermahang form ng mga kandidato o sinong kandidato natatakbo sa ini position sa ating gobyerno. Last uh, enumeration for the last number. Can, can, can this be placed? This is just, I'm just toying this idea. For the candidate to declare that I am not, I will not support any organization that advocates violence or unlawful means to achieve its goals and to overthrow the government of the Republic of the Philippines. We will include that, Your Honor. Wala pong problema doon, ano? Because that's what the law provides under Republic Act, even Republic Act 6646 and 9369. And yes, your so, Honor. your resolution 9366. Yes. So, you're amenable to that. Siyo nga mga idol, ang gustong uh, ipalagay, or ipadagdag, ipalagay, ipadagdag ni Senator Francis Tolentino. Why? <laughs> Kaya... Uh, Chairman, uh, Comelec Chairman George Garcia, ito po yung uh, for a candidate to declare that I will not support any organization that advocates violence or lawful means to achieve its goal and overthrow the government of the Philippines. Alam mo yung kung saan galing ito mga idol. Ito pa rin yung galing doon sa mga yung pinahayag ni Senator Loren Ligarda. So ito pa rin yung hugot ni Sen Senator Francis Tolentino mga idol. Hindi siya makamove on. So, tara, uh, doon tayo sa barangay and uh, SK election. Ang mga comments naman po ng ating mga netizen, ang sabi dito ng isa na si Pio, kung pwede pala yan, yung election ng President, Vice President, ipagpaliban natin. O kaya lahat ng election, basta lumusot sa Kongreso para makatipid po tayo. So, yan naman yung comment dito ni Pio P. SK, training ground for graft and corruption dapat tanggalin. So, ang suggest ng iba, tatanggalin ang iski sa ating buburay na sa level ng politics. Basta ginusto nila, kaya, binal, kaya nila baloktotin ang batas kasi sila din naman ang gumagawa. So, that's the Congress. Eh, tuloy na dapat para mapagbigyan naman ang karapat dapat. So, rito nga mga idol, panorin naman natin yung uh, diretsong sagot ni uh, Comelec Jorman George Garcia sa mga tanong ng ilang congressman kasama nga dito si uh, Congressman Lagman. October if the, if the filing is October we will resolve all we will resolve all reasons petition for declaration of reasons before the end of December of the same year when the filing was done. Thank you Mr. Chair but I would like to just manifest that if this happens again in the next election when I run that this consolidation budget uh, name is appears there, I will hold your budget for the next uh, coming election. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Deputy Majority Leader Tony Pet Albano, for your interpolation. We'll now proceed to the next interpolator from uh, Congressman Edsel Lagman. Uh, please proceed, Congressman Lagman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. May we know from the Comelec uh, Chairman, Chairman Garcia, for the record, whether the Comelec is fully prepared to conduct the December 2022 Barangay and SK elections. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, Your Honours. For the record, the Comelec is fully prepared to conduct the election on December 5. So ayun nga mga idol, ang sabi ni Comelec Chairman uh, George Garcia na yung Comelec ay preparado na kung yung election ay magsisimula or matuloy mang ngayong December 5, 2022. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, may we also know from the Comelec whether uh, the 8.4 billion appropriation is fully sufficient for the conduct of the Barangay and SK elections in December 2022. Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honours, 
the 8.441 billion pesos is enough to finance the 2022 barangay and SK elections. However, if we postpone the barangay elections to May 2023, there will be an additional amount of about 9 billion. And if we postpone it to December 2023, there will be an additional amount of more or less 10 billion in addition to the continuing appropriation of 7.4 billion. Is that correct? Mr. Chair, your honors, that is correct. But uh, for purposes of clarification, uh, Mr. Chair, your honors, it's 17 billion for May, less um, 7.5 billion. For December, 18 billion, less 7.5 billion pesos. Uh, that's correct. Now, Mr. Chairman, may we also know whether the amount already comprehensive release to the COMELEC for the 2022 December elections uh, could still be uh, taken back by the executive in order to support the economic recovery program. Mr. Chair, your honors, with all due respect, they cannot. They cannot. Because the COMELEC has fiscal autonomy under the Constitution. What is released to you cannot be taken back. It can be part of a continuing appropriation. Is that correct? That is perfectly correct, Your Honor. So in other words, the reason that, the, that there should be postponement in order that the amount can be used for the recovery program is not correct. Based on the premises, uh, as mentioned, that is correct, Your Honor. Under the Constitution, I think it's Section 8 of Article 10, the term of office of barangay officials, the term of office of barangay officials, shall be determined by law. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. And uh, this mandate is a one-time mandate. Is that correct? Uh, Your Honor, that may be the subject of a legal interpretation. Mm -hmm. uh, it is my position that it's a one-time uh, uh, mandate. Once exercised, it is already uh, exercised by Congress, and there is no provision for a continuing mandate under Section 8 of Article 10. Now, there is no budget for the Barangay and SK elections in 2023. That is right, Your Honor, as proposed and as contained in the President's budget. And uh, you were present this morning, Mr. Chairman, when, we, when the Committee on Appropriation approved the Consulate Bill under Section uh, 4 on appropriation, there is no fixed amount appropriated for the Barangay and SK election if they are postponed. Is that yes, correct? yes, that is correct, Mr. Chair, Your Honors, and as correctly pointed out by the Honorable Congressman Lagman. Now, so, ayun nga mga idol, no, sa mga direct sa hang uh, tanong ni uh, Congressman Lagman, ay uh, napag-usapan nga dito mga idol, ang, uh, ang uh, preferredness ng uh, komilik po natin. Kung ito ba ay matutuloy ngayong December 5, 2022, ay uh, ready na ba, nakahanda na ba yung ating komilik para sa election ng barangay and SK election mga idol. So, yun nga yung sagot ni uh, George uh, Erwin Garcia na nakahanda na. Uh, nakahanda na lahat, mga makinaryas, machineries, mga tao, nakahanda na para sa eleksyon. Yun nga lang, kung uh, hindi talaga matutuloy, if in case na ipospon ito, para mabigyan ng chance na makabuto itong mga hindi nakapagparegister, so ibig sabihin may chance pa na makapagregister, so mas maraming tao yung, uh, mas maraming butante yung as aasahan, mas malaking budget yung kailangan. So ito nga tinatanong din ni Lagman, Kung ito ba ay ma-extend, kailangan nyo pa rin ba ng dagdag na pondo? So yun nga yung sinasabi ni uh, Comelec Chairman George Erwin Garcia na kailangan nila ng additional na pondo kung matuloy itong, kung hindi matuloy itong eleksyon and mapuspon ito into December 1st Monday of 2023. So sa kalaunan ay uh, nag-agree na rin si uh, Congressman Lagman na ipospon itong uh, barangay and SK election. It's 2010, uh, Mr. Chair, your honors. 
there was not a single election protest, at least filed before the commissioner election or even filed before other electoral tribunals such as the House of Representatives Electoral Tribunal or even the Senate Electoral Tribunal or even in the Presidential Electoral Tribunal that uh, prospered in favor of the Protestant even as far as this representation is concerned as a practitioner before. So what is the import of the absence of such uh, electoral protest prospering? Yeah, um, at this point, Your Honor, it would uh, mean that the machines are really fun uh, uh, functioning properly, that the mach machines are really counting properly. All throughout the different elections, Your Honor, the, the average of accuracy is almost 99.3% average accuracy. In the last election, it's 99.7% accurate, Your Honor. The 0.03% is only because the voter did not shade properly the ballots. Maybe po yung balota tuldok lang, kaya po hindi nabilang ng machine. But then in the, using the, sa naked eye, kitang kita po yon. So meaning to say, with all due respect to all those who are saying that the machines are not functioning properly, that indeed the machines are accurate. Thank you for that answer, Mr. Chairman. And uh, last question. I heard that you are in favor of a hybrid election, wherein there would be more dynamic participation of the people, the electorate, in watching the uh, counting of the ballots. So it could be manual counting, but the transmission of the results could be electronic. Mm. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, as envisioned by the Senate when, they, when it passed the bill for the hybrid system of election. For the record, uh, Mr. Chairman, I am also in favor of a hybrid. So yung malamang idol din, ang, uh, bago pala nilang uh, panukala, ipingkis na matuloy ito sa Zenit. Itong hybrid election, so ang hybrid election ay uh, tao yung magbibilang, pero yung transmission ay by machine. So mas mabilis pa rin. So marami salamat po sa inyong lahat. Yan po yung ating uh, topic ngayon. This is Way Creation. Marami salamat and God bless everyone.